All you can eat noobs. Nom noobs. Welcome to our spooktacular episode of Nom Nom News. News. The only news that you can fill your fat face with. Alright, first episode, first story. Zombie deer disease. Alright. What? So, apparently, there's something known as chronic wasting disease which infects eats and eats away the brains of deer, causing the animals to exhibit zombie-like symptoms, in, including aggression, difficulty walking, and signs of dementia. Hmm. Essentially, they succumb to the infection. Now, I was like, this is, this, this is, this is a fake story. What is this? Like, because he's talking about all this stuff, and then I was like, oh, oh okay. Well, uh, look, the CDC has something about it. I was like, oh, maybe it's real. It's not just in the U.S., it's also in Europe, and they say do not eat deer meat unless you get it tested. So, don't eat, do not eat the deer. (laughs) There is an infection spreading through the herd. (laughs) You got anything to say about that story? This is, this is crazy. This is They're scary? saying it could spread to humans. That's oh, the no. Crazy part. I didn't talk about that. No, that's you, like the scariest part. If you eat the part. deer, you get the zombie disease. You, you can, yeah. It's like it's, it was saying in there stuff about like mad cow. Like With mad cow, it took them like, a long time to diagnose that it could jump to humans. This can. Oh, yeah. So they're like getting on it right now. A dr- drastic weight loss, stumbling, lack of coordination, listlessness. What's listlessness? I don't know. Lacking energy. Okay. Drooling, excessive thirst or urination, drooping ears, lack of fear of people. So apparently I already have this disease. <laughs> so it says it's not just deer, it's elk, reindeer, seco, which I don't know, is that like some kind of elk or something? I don't know. And moose. Wait. Yeah, oh. they, they have it too. It's what this thing says. Yeah, you're right. So yeah, be careful if you're eating game. Be, ca- be careful If you're ge- there. getting your own game. Yeah, if you're killing deer, yeah, before you eat it, turn it into chili, you need to go see, get it tested. First story... Everybody's gonna turn into a zombie. So <laughs> hope everybody's out. Hope, hope everybody out there is feeling safe right now. Oh, Woo! I'm gonna start wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Why? Because you wanna be cool? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Next story. Burger King has come out with a special ghost whopper in our unending coverage of Burger King news. <laughs> Cut that out. Burger King. No, it's not. <laughs> Burger King. We thought I told you that we won't stop. Burger, Burger, King. Burger King has a special thing called a Ghost Whopper for Halloween. It looks kind of spooky here. You can see it back there. Yeah. It's pretty cool. But you, can only, you can only get it at 10 locations in the U.S. And, oh, really? Uh, yeah, that's what it says. I don't think it has anything different on it. Well, oh, here's see. your locations. Yeah, let's see. It has mayo, ketchup. Uh, it's just like a normal Whopper. It just has, it has a, a special bun. bun. Yeah. Only 10 locations. I don't know why. Only 10. I House guess. Street. That's interesting. Why? Yeah. These are weird locations. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Huh. But, yeah, that's... Okay. Apparently they've done other stuff in the past. I didn't know that, but... No, yeah, Nightmare cool. Whopper. Halloween Whopper. Last year was Nightmare Whopper. Ooh, oh, yeah, one. I remember that. I ate one of those. Yeah, I've had the Nightmare Was it Whopper. green? Yeah. It had, mm. Yeah, it has. Was a it a chicken? Ch- it has a chicken patty with a burger on it too. Oh. Yeah, I ate it last year, and then like it made me sick afterwards. <laughs> it was it was not fun. It was too much food. Oh god. It was like a, it was like twelve hundred calories for that sandwich or something. Okay. It was nuts. Section. All, right. All right. Candy rant. Can't wait. Candy leaf. Candy rant. I was too okay. It's the candy round. Oh, candy round. Because we're doing like three or four different oh, ones. Oh, well, I'm round right today. This <laughs> yeah, I'm this round, rounder a, than normal today. This is I'm a little, this little, is little. I don't know about this. A little uh, beefier. It says you messed it up. I told you not to undo. No, the it's thing. all. I'm all. I'm getting sweaty. Oh yeah, I'm really. Yeah, normally it's it's colder now, but yeah, with these, <laughs> we're, it's we're super we're just to put blankets. We, we're, we're, we're not we're not comfortable with not being co- ah. hot when we're doing this. I guess. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna get started we, with the next uh, one. Yeah, we're, so we're gonna we're, first. We gotta get start off with a drink of choice, which we've did this in another video, but we yeah. haven't done it for a nom news. Alright, I'm gonna give you some of this. Yeah, it looks, that looks like how much you want. That's okay. good. Ooh, it's clear. Yeah, it's kind of weird looking. What is this that we're talking about? What is that? We even show. It's it. like I did. It's a Mountain Dew mystery flavor. Is it, oh, Voodoo Mountain Dew. Okay. It's like mystery flavor. It, mystery it, flavor. It tastes like candy corn. Which if 
It, it tastes like, like cotton candy. If sugar had a, I guess it tastes like sugar. It tastes, yeah, it tastes like cotton candy. And we're gonna go with the, this is what we were gonna do first. All right. We this talked about these, story. but we actually but we found them. Zombie Skittles. They're like these, bean boozled things. Bean boozled. But as a Skittle, we'll do, we'll get to that one later. These I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to eat that. Oh, this one, it's normal Skittles, but one of them is a gross flavor. This is fifth edition. Two new flavors. This this one is more confusing if you've oh never seen god. it. Oh my god! Yeah, look at it. Dead fish, yeah. stinky socks, spoiled yeah. milk, dirty dishwasher. But oh see, the, 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 the thing is, like, it has like they're the same color as one that tastes good. Like here's peach. Oh, and there's barf. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Oh, you want some chocolate pudding? Canned dog food. They could have did poop oh on that. Oh my god! That's good they didn't because that's gross. Berry blue toothpaste. All right. But yeah, we're gonna do the skills first because I found these first. Those right. have been around a long time. Oh my so. god! And I want to give a criticism to the candy companies that do this for Halloween. Everything literally looks exactly the same. I, it took me. I, it too, I couldn't then. tell. I couldn't find what I was trying to find at half the stores because it was just all thrown in there and it was all the same looking. I'm sure the people that are working in the stores are sick of Halloween already. They're oh. sick of Christmas already. All right. So these are. What were the zombie ones? If you want to look, there's a what picture. Did it do? One of them is a gross rotten zombie flavor. Ooh, okay. So, but well, if you want, well, we don't if, know you wanna, if, if you don't want to, if you don't want to, I have the colors here. If you don't want to look at those, you can yeah. figure it out, or we could just do the mystery. Uh, well, I, it looks to me like they're all the same. No, one of them will be a different color, supposedly. Oh, maybe maybe I, not though. I think that it's in this. actually it could. I don't know. I'm gonna do a blue one first. All right, I got green. It's supposed to be here. blackberry. This one's supposed to be mummified melon. That's blackberry. No one the same. Another blackberry. All right, red. Bl red something. Blood blackberry. Berry. Mm. That's the same. Yep. I'm not just throwing them all in my mouth. All right, you go ahead and do that. Hm. They're pretty good. It's just like skittles. Until I find the gross one, and I guess we'll just I'll just keep eating these, and, and I'll cut into when yeah. I find a gross one. I'll say I found okay, a gross one. This one. Yeah, okay, yeah. When I was trying to find normal this candy. I couldn't find anything. This is the first one I found. A box of boogers. Ugh. Did that's you get it? One? Yep, that's it. Ugh. What is it? What is it? I don't know. <laughs> it's gross though. <laughs> it didn't take very I took very long. I... <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it another taste. <laughs> it tastes like poop. Let me have some more of that. <laughs> it tastes like old rotten fruit. Maybe that's just what they taste like. like. This isn't like onions. Maybe it's durian flavored. I've never had it durian. It tastes like onions. And it tastes like it tastes old like onion. Old, does it taste like, taste like an old bird? Oh god, yeah. Now that I think about it, yeah. <laughs> like you just had like a little bit of chili. <laughs> I still ate it because I already had it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you so took it, it out and then put it back. <laughs> I had to verify <laughs> what color it was because I wanted to know. But I don't think it matters. I think it's like at any color. Oh my god. So there's a gross one in every bag. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. You heard it here first on Nom News. We're breaking the stories. <laughs> oh, so right. nasty. I'm going to open these. This one says it's got booger flavors. Artificial flavors. <laughs> Not melon. Sour green boogie. And slime apple. So I think those are just going to be normal flavors. Still enjoyable because the rest of them are good. You just, <laughs> and then you get the gross onion the, old fruit likes flavor. Old, old burp flavor. Honestly, I think it might be durian, even though I've never had durian. I've smelled well, it. We need to solve that problem. I don't want to have durian. It smells. It smells nasty. We're just gummies. Yeah. All right, yeah we're so. Okay, we're going on vegan on this one. It may be, may or not be. Doesn't say. I'm gonna do boogie green. Or green apple, that's pretty good. Yeah. Really, it's not that good. Not a lot of flavor there. <laughs> no, I'm just gummy. Just but you, it just looks like you're eating boogers, which is hilarious. I like that. It do look like boogers. <laughs> like big old <laughs> it gross It's a positive for me because it looks like boogers. All right. Yeah. One more to the bean boozle. Oh, God. Do we have to do that one? Yeah. Pick a flavor you probably like. Tutti Frutti. Oh, you're gonna get dirty dishwasher here. Let me get one. All right, we're just gonna go with one that's supposed to be dead fish or peach. Or... That's peach. Oh, it could be barf. All right, I'm gonna get. Oh wait, God. Wait, are you gonna go ahead? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna get berry blue or toothpaste. 
That's berry blue. I think this one's supposed to be bar. But, <laughs> but I enjoy it. <laughs> I just don't taste much. All right, let's do another one then. It was... It definitely didn't taste like peach or strawberry banana. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to do butter popcorn because that's my favorite one. Or rotten egg. This might make me throw up. Let's do booger. You want to do... Or a juicy pear. All right, I got butter popcorn. You got juicy pear. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. That is rotten egg. Oh, Mmm. That's disgusting. Why would somebody want to do this? I think... I think that one was pear, but I'm not sure. <laughs> he, he just likes them all. <laughs> He's probably got the both the gross ones. He just does I'm not doing that again. I got the worst mm. one. All, all right. right. <laughs> you got which one you get? I got rotten egg. Yeah, I don't want that one. That's the scut. Oh. Spoiled milk or coconut milk. It could be both. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I mean, I'd, I'd probably do that one, actually. A toasted marshmallow or stink bug? Let's do that one. Yeah, do the ones that they're not actually fangs. <laughs> We eat. I need to have a toasted marshmallow. All right, I don't. All right, I'm doing chocolate or canned dog food, which I think that one is probably enjoyable. Why am I not holding this on camera? I don't even know. All right, here we go. Are you kidding me? What? I got dog food. I've got two <laughs> bad ones in a row. <laughs> it's a. That's actually just tastes like meat. <laughs> so, oh, it's gross though. I'm done with I them. haven't had jelly beans in I don't know how long. I'm done with I'm done with this. Mm, this I like... got one. Stink bug. Okay. What's it taste like? It tastes like a stink bug smells. Ooh, <laughs> that's weird. But then it also kind of tastes like toffee. Oh, so it's kind of okay then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the rod dag one was disgusting. That was cool. I like this. You got a little game you can play. The dog food one was. Actually, the dog food one was more enjoyable than the rotten egg one. This is pretty good. Is that, what's that smell? It's probably what I just had. It's weird. Steamed bug. It smells like something burning. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. That's what it what? was. What? It yeah. smells like something's burning, like paper. It was or one like of the dust. things I ate. I think it was the last one. Okay, I was I making know. sure we don't have something on fire. No, it's, it's what I ate. Let's say about this. The best for last. I couldn't find anything. This is one of the first things I found, obviously. Blueberry. Spooky. We also Spooky. Get stencils. No, no, oh, you look, have to. Look, it's got that game no, on it. No, you don't. It's confusing. Read it. You have to go oh, online download and download them. Yeah, it's, um, huh. Mom, can I have access to the internet, please? Yeah, the worst thing about these jelly beans, they get stuck in your teeth. You try to get them out with yeah. your tongue, and then you just taste it again. Yeah. <laughs> I like, like how you got the worst ones the whole time. <laughs> I great. got one good one. All right. This is going to be good. I mean, it's going to be really sweet. It's a blueberry. I mean, we should have done the... It was poured in my hand. Or just grab some. It doesn't matter. Here. Oh, okay. I could have <laughs> did that myself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Blueberry's yeah. good. I don't know why I'm looking at it off screen. Blueberry's good. I would. Do they have this normally? Yeah, I think so. It just has a scary. Stick They're coated. You know what? These are these are sugar coated, right? Well, you can look. They don't have. Yeah, a... it tastes like a sugar coated. They have some. Right, nine percent, nine grams of sugar per serving. It's not as high as some of those other ones I've seen. This is like. This Morning. is forty. This is forty-four. <laughs> this whole segment is just sugar. Just I'm, FYI, I'm no one this. noticed. <laughs> I don't know if anyone noticed. We called it a can we called it candy lamb. Oh, okay. Well, can right. Candy section. All right. All right. Do we put this in front of us while we do this or no? Probably fall. You right. want it to be in the way the whole time? <laughs> Not really. Okay. I want to knock it off and put them everywhere all over the floor. And that would be awesome. That was good. You like that? Oh, no, just, fries are I mean, good. compared to what I had in right. my mouth a few minutes ago, yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was getting it out of my oh teeth. Oh my gosh. Too, so it's good. All right. Are we ready to burn this one down? Yeah, candy section is over. Or can't what do we call it? Candy craze? Candy corn? Can, candy round? I didn't get any candy. Candy. Corn. I don't know. For days. In the face. This is the candy review section. <laughs> okay, so this is one of the things that we he couldn't find it, oh, but they have candy section. What is it? A company that tro that makes trolley like gummy worms and stuff. Trolley broches. Yeah. I don't know how do you say their name. Brocks. B R C A B R A C H same company. They make that. It's like the guy on Space Ghost. Well, I don't know if it's the same. Brax. It says Ferrara, so I guess that's the company that owns them. Yeah, Bra we'll call it Brax. <laughs> um, the, the the gummy worm people trolley. They have candy corn shaped candy like gummies now, oh. or maybe they're like sour bright candy corns. What they call it. Oh. Well, it has the texture of candy corn, so it just has the sour trolley name on it. 
So it's candy corn that's sour, which is weird. I've never seen yeah. that. And then they have candy corn mixed with like chocolate, and they have pumpkin pie Harvest candy corn. corn. Yeah, they have a bunch. Of, I I could I could only find one of them. That one of the stores I went to, they have a donut shop candy corn one, like just different weird candy corns really? and, and mix candy corns mixed with weird things. That's which actually maybe they're trying to make people actually want to eat candy corn because candy corn sucks. Yeah, like no one likes candy true. corn. <laughs> I don't no. even know why they. Put I like candy corn when I was a kid. No, no, <laughs> I did. You like put it in your mouth like you had vampire teeth. That's, I did. I like I feel it. I feel candy corn. They made a giant amount of it like in 1983. And they've been trying to get rid of that giant warehouse full of candy corn, and that that's every year they're just selling out. It's like it's like a massive pit of candy corn they made thirty years ago, forty years ago. That's what I think. It's, <laughs> it's the candy corn conspiracy yeah, yeah, because it's they're coming to get nobody, us. Nobody, nobody wants candy corn. Like, they're coming to get us. <laughs> this is cool. So if you can find this, like check them out because I couldn't find any of them. They didn't have them. All they had was a giant bags of candy wherever we are. Next story, you can do this Popeyes one. Popeyes offers new voodoo tenders. Now, what is that? They just try to make it sound spooky, I think. It's just like their normal tender thing they do. Like, every so often, they have, like, a special tender, and it comes with a special sauce. Oh, with dried chives and, and served with a sweet chili sauce. There's, like, really nothing voodoo about that. <laughs> but, but they just put food yeah. on the name because it's Halloween. That's weird. The dried chives thing is, like... Why would you get dried chives when you can have regular... Well, never mind. They don't have... They don't have fresh don't vegetables. Have what are you talking about? Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, they have lettuce. For what? The po' boy. They with, don't make that anymore. With the sandwich when they had it, too. They had lettuce on it? Mm-hmm. The po' boy did. That's why they went out of stock. They didn't have any lettuce suppliers. No, no the po' boy. The po' boy they had... I don't no, the know. sandwich. Bring, we... bring back the po' boy, because it was yeah, good. Yeah. Or fix the sandwich problem. All right, next story. <laughs> we already talked about this enough. <laughs> get out of here, Popeyes. All right, next story. This is the dude. This dude, he 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 was the CEO of Microsoft when Windows 10 launched. That's how that's how I like know who he is. Anyhow, he's talking about CNN. Oh my gosh, Costco charges 4.99 for these these rotisserie chickens. Right? Yeah, they're great. They're kind of salty, they're willing. But they're good. They says that they they lose 30 to 40 million dollars a year on selling these chickens at 3 9, 4.99. What? I could see that, and they they still make they, money, right? They, they still they profitable. sell fifteen percent of all the rotisserie oh, chickens Jesus. in America. Wow, that's a lot. Actually, I could see that being. I thought that'd be higher than that. There's not really anyone when they talk about rotisserie chickens, like you know, the stores, local grocery stores do them. Like no one ever buys those. Costco's is good and it's cheaper. That's they're still crazy. they're still really profitable. Ninety one million that. were sold last year in the U S. Yeah, that's oh. what it says. I think so. Wow. <laughs> all right. I just thought that was weird. Oh no, my God. I don't get it off the page. <laughs> Gosh. All right. We're going to burn that this was, one down. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Right. Next story. Lost some papers. Next story. Jack o' Lantern Pizza returns to Papa John's for 2019 Halloween season. Did they already have this before? Yep. Yep. Oh. As you can see, it's a, yeah. it looks like a, it's, a, it's a thin crust pizza in the shape <laughs> of a, a pumpkin, oh, jack o' lantern. I can't, I can't zoom in. Uh, they put little olives on the eyes, I Yeah, see. it's got pepperoni laid out around the edges, and it's got like a space, and now, olives for the eyes. This doesn't actually have pumpkin in it, right? Because that's no. why it doesn't say pumpkin pizza? No, because that'd be gross. <laughs> I'd try a pumpkin pizza. Well, you don't eat your... Yeah, normal people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's a jack o' lantern pizza. It's been for Halloween. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Which I think, since it comes with thin crust and it's in that weird shape, I'm, a, I'm thinking they just get them shipped in like this. They could pinch it like that, you know? They could. Know. They probably don't. Pop job. <laughs> $11 and it's available through October 31st. So you get there by Halloween. So if you want one, go get it now. Also, figure out if your participating location has it. Because you don't know. <laughs> Next story. All right. Chuck E. Cheese. Revealed a new pizza box, which I didn't know people, they had pizza boxes. Did they give it to you in a box? I, or can you get it to go? Maybe you can get it to go. I don't know. The pizza box transforms into a skee ball game, as you can see in the picture. Woo! The delivery box. Do oh, it says, you... it says right there, delivery box. So they do, okay, they do, they they do, do, do delivery? Do, wait, what? Maybe that's something they started Maybe. to revitalize the brand. Because they just did a rebrand. Oh, it's through Grubhub, DoorDash, or Uber Eats. So uh, that's oh, that's cool. So wait. You, they do deliver. Additionally, they're having a deal where you can get unicorn churros for a dollar. What is for unicorn churros? Just, what? So if you order one of these pizzas with the crate, you order one of these pizzas, you get a crazy skee ball 
like made into the box. You can open the box and make it a skee-ball game. And uh, get some unicorn And you get some unicorn churros for $1. Yeah. This is pretty it's pretty sweet. This, this is definitely not healthy for kids. I might, I might order something from Chuck E. Cheese someday. Because <laughs> this is pretty cool. Yeah, like. I like this. All right. Next story. Next story. Oh, you already got it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, this is our all pizza. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> pizza. What is this garbage can pizza? What is that? This looks like garbage can no. lid or a manhole cover. You, you can do this one if you oh, want. Oh okay, Pizza Hut tests round pizza box and plant based incognito. So okay, no, that's no. a great day. No, that's a. Great you want this box? Because that's the opposite. You know what this? <laughs> no, 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 no. This box is that Z pizza from Silicon Valley. Do you remember me showing you that a long uh, time yeah, ago? Oh yeah, they didn't have a box like that. That's they they you're either stealing it or getting it supplied from them. Instead of being a square box, it's it's the shape of the pizza. It's just a big circular box, cardboard box or something. All right, well the box is composed compostable. That's cool. But and it has some kind of plant-based sausage. That's what I thought it would be interesting to look at. Plant-based incognito uh, Titan sausage is featured on the new Garden Specialty Pizza, which is a large hand-tossed pizza that also comes topped with onions, mushrooms, and banana peppers. You can only eat it at two locations. Oh, in Arizona. Two, there's two items at one location. It's only one location in Arizona that you can eat it at. But oh. they're testing out this new box for delivery to see if it like is better. It takes up less space and other stuff, I guess. Mm. And they can stack them easier. No, you know it's for it's for the and people that work at Uber that's put it in their car. They don't have enough space for these maybe, boxes. Maybe, and yeah, actually maybe. And so you <laughs> stack them in the front seat and buckle them in. And they're trying to say it's green. You can sort of you can recycle cardboard anyways. But I don't know. You can you can compost this instead of recycling it. I just thought the sausage is pretty cool. I I, I I like that Pizza Hut's trying to come and do something. <laughs> All right, next story. Uh, so. They grew the world's largest avocado in, I guess it's Kula. No, no. They got their seed from their family who lives on Maui, and they grew it for like 20... When this kid was born, uh, born they planted it. He's like 12 or something now. No, no, no. More than 10 years old. It's oh, a 10-year-old. Okay. So, okay. so they planted it when he was born. Um, and their other tree is 50 years old on Maui. Okay. But uh, they they didn't really do anything to the tree to make it grow bigger or whatever. But like, look at this mess of guacamole they made. Oh, show, just... show the actual avocado. Like, yeah. Look how big it is compared to the kid's yeah. face. Yeah, it's bigger than his head. And then how much, tell them how much it weighs. Uh, I don't remember how much it weighs. Oh, 5.6 pounds. 5.6 pound avocado. That's yeah. freaking crazy. I can't even get one and, avocado and it, here. I mean, you look at it, you're like, oh, that's probably got like the biggest pit ever. Like, it's probably all a pit. It's not. Look at no. that. Look at that. Look how much avocado that is. Wow. The pit did something weird. I don't know. Probably because they had to split it with a machete or something yeah. to get it open. Yeah. But. That's cool. And it made that massive mess of guacamole you were talking about. Like, it's enough. that's a huge bowl of guac. Yeah. Five pounds of guac. It's really cool. Well, probably about four. They got it. They got it. Uh, the Guinness people got it certified. That's cool. So, they gave some of it away. It made so much guacamole. <laughs> yeah. But, that's pretty cool. I didn't know they could get that big. Yeah, I mean, maybe this variety, whatever this variety is. We got this special patented, genetically modified one from California. Haas. Yeah, that's the, a, I think it's like a, a I think it says a, I think it's called a reed. Maybe maybe this is reed what avocado. they look like before they got domesticated. You don't even know about this one. Woo! All right, so I encountered something the other day, blew my mind. All right, this one's called Wolf Bowl. It's in DC. What, what is it? I don't think you said. Oh, what it was. it's a it's a food truck. This is a food truck that only serves dogs. Okay. But there are the, these things are in. Uh, there's one in L.A. and there's one in Seattle. They're not. I don't think they're the same affiliated. One, no, they're but different. This, so there's more than one yeah. of these food trucks so, around the yeah. country. So people that are just for dogs. Yeah, just for dogs. What? Yeah. Oh, here menu. I found it. It's not on the top. Well, that's kind of stupid. There's uh, no prices. Oh yeah, there isn't. Okay. Well, I don't know. We don't know how much it is, but here's some of the things they have. That's only something I would eat. They have chicken nuggets. Yeah. A burger. Okay, they just they just put stuff and leave out stuff that dogs can't eat. I yeah, I just wanted to put it out there. I didn't know this. I learned this that there are food trucks out there that only cater to dogs. That's insane. and that blows my mind. I just thought it was just really strange that dogs can get their own food truck. Mm -hmm. When your humans go into this food truck, I want to take my dog to that food truck because I got them with me anyway. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. All right, so this goes into so the, uh, oh, we didn't we didn't start. This is our Asia block. Yeah, so Asia it, block. Singapore is gonna ban ads for sugary drinks that are above a certain threshold next year. What? Yeah, 
and anything that has hot medium to high sugar content, which I haven't, I don't know what that means. Let's see if it does it say the amount. It didn't, no, it didn't say the actual amount on this article. I just read it. Um, they are going to make you have to put like a smoking label on it. To the, wow. To tell you that it's going to kill you. So the reason I found this is that there's a Bloomberg article about how Southeast Asia has a weight problem. Apparently, uh, oh, that's yeah, that's why there's a number right there. No, 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 no. In Singapore, Southeast Asia apparently accounts for 20% of diabetics globally. Wow. And I thought that was that's crazy. A, wow. Like they're like beating us. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were yeah. number one. <laughs> yeah, and Malaysia. So this is not just Singapore. Singapore is one of the places, but Malaysia. It says uh, they the threat of attacks form uh, convinced their lar- or like their largest beverage people to reformulate all their seventy percent of their products. Because you know Mexico implemented the tax. I didn't know that. Yeah, Mexico last year I yeah, think Mexico, implemented the. They had a the big tax. problem with diabetes. And too. it's apparently helping. So apparently it says that obesity-related ailments take up fifteen percent of Indonesia's national health care and nineteen percent of Malaysia's. Wow. So, uh, now they're, they're lumping all of these different people in here together, but Singapore it says in 2019, I don't know if that was a day, consumers averaged around 12 teaspoons a day from about half of that of sugar. So, 12 teaspoons. Now it's 28. No, that's Thailand. That's oh, no, no. Uh, oh, Thailand says daily yeah, intake of sugar has increased from 19 teaspoons a day in 97 to 28 in 2019. Yeah. Singapore says it's modest at 12, but it, their thing is half of it came from their sugary drinks. So, so and a typical can of soda. Then they're also talking about right, Malaysia oh, it's only one street can, food. It says only one can, one can of soda typically contains 10 teaspoons. They only have like one Coke a day. Yeah. I've already had that <laughs> right here. Yeah. So, yeah. come on, catch up. Uh, <laughs> The ban on advertising, I think, is a big deal. Mm-hmm. And also the labels, the labels yeah. for the products, like, I that's going to be weird. I wouldn't even have bought this. They didn't yeah. have this late. Well, for this episode, I've already had this before. But because, like, let me look at the label. But does that, does this, co- I haven't seen if this covers uh, cupped drinks or if it's just canned. Oh, yeah, we, we're not sure about that. So. It's just, it just said high sugar drinks. I don't yeah, know. it could be anything. Red Bull probably c- is in there, too. Yeah, it's just only sell sugar free. Now we're moving on to Thailand. So, if you thought that why are they why why are all these salad places mainly named Sweet Green popping up <laughs> all over the place next to my uh, Whole Foods and uh, yoga bar? You're like, why are these popping up? Well, apparently it's not just in the U.S. that this is happening. This place, I don't I don't know how many they have right now. Doesn't this look like Sweet Green? It does, but they gave it like a. Like a country name. No, no, no. That's, they gave it kind of like a country that's, look. That's like a thing. The one, the big, the big place that I went to in Bangkok that was there, I forget mm-hmm. what it was called, but it was like something that would be like a country diner name in America. Oh, okay. It's that is kind like, of what it looks like. I think it's because it's like, it's it, it's one syllable and you, can, you can't get it wrong. Yeah, okay. And it, it's their logo, like look at their logo, you can't really tell, but... It looks like Bob's Bob from Bob's Burgers. It does look like Bob's Burgers. <laughs> yeah, but like, or like, but like, or like the Julio's. Uh, that, that oh, Mexican it's Uncle place. Julio's. It yeah, does look like it that. looks like that. So uh, they're gonna expand to twenty locations in Bangkok next year. Just in Bangkok. Yes. Wow. Twenty twenty locations. So I mean, it looks pretty good. It yeah, like a piece of chicken with some salad, and then like it looks like some purple mashed potatoes or something. Oh yeah, it's not just uh, salad. Yams. Yeah. That's not bad. That looks pretty good. That's that's pretty. That's, but the craze the has is, caught Asia the, now. The salad craze has made it. All right, next in our in our Asia binge. Ooh, no, no. <laughs> I already have this. Oh, I need to recreate it. All right, so this came across. I came across this a few days ago from somebody. I think it was the guy that uh, Zep, the guy that uh, does uh, Pico Eight. Mm-hmm. So uh, this is a new restaurant in uh, Akibara called Pico Crepe. Okay, so well, let me show you a picture of their outside. They they just opened it uh, recently, but remember crepes were big when we were there. Yeah, I, they like love. Crepes. I think they're calling waffle cones crepes. Is what a it lot, looks like. It's not just like a lot of people really like crepes, and like they eat it like dessert. Though crepes can be more than a dessert, but I think I haven't seen this place yet. But I assume it's it all like. desserts. See, well, I don't know, maybe not. It's just a pickup window, I think. Okay, because um, it's yeah. like the place in. Uh, Harajuku, there was that really famous one that served crepes. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like that. It's kind of like that. But this, this, is is like video, right? but this is like video game. Yeah, theme. but they're kind of theming a video game theme, but mm. not really. Uh, but the thing is, this is chestnut flavored. 
Oh, yeah. So I think what like this a, is... It's like a big holiday I think thing. what they're doing is they're making... They're, like, making their own waffle cones, I think is what they're calling crepes at this location. And then you can get a big one, or you can get small ones, or you can get bubble tea with it in there, too. Hmm. So I just thought chestnut, chestnut flavor goes with our Halloween sweater it's theme. Halloween slash Christmas slash, yeah, slash holiday, holiday season. Holiday, yeah. That's I pretty, just thought that was that's neat. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I, I just I didn't see chestnut flavored no, I don't, I've never, drinks, ice cream. I've never actually even have it, had a chestnut. I don't, yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't either. I, I assume Maybe it we tastes. We should like, do that. I assume it tastes like a nut. I don't. That's all I can assume. I don't know what it tastes like. <laughs> all right. So that was Pico Crate Cafe in uh, Akihabara, Tokyo. All right. Next on our Asia round, you thought that we were gonna leave pizza behind, but. Apparently not. Tell me what's going on here. Domino's has added a new special Halloween roulette pizza is what they're calling it. They're putting yep. some of the pizza has a ghost pepper hidden in it and it's sliced up in little bitty slices and you take it off and it's like Russian roulette or whatever, you know? Oh but my goodness. you take one and like maybe you got the ghost pepper one, maybe you didn't. You know, look, it's like a oh it's like an oil. Oh yeah, it is oh, an oil. Oh god, that's gonna be awful. Then it's not even gonna taste like anything, it's just gonna be hot. <laughs> like Oh, that's going to be bad. Somebody spiked oh, your actually, pizza for you. They also have a... Ooh, like, they got like a dessert pizza. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Okay. This is... It's called Tori like, Puru... Tori Puru... Shokora. What's Tori Puru? I don't know. I'm just reading the thing below it. Chocolate. Triple chocolate. Oh, triple. It's supposed to be triple. All right. It's just like a chocolate dessert pizza. That looks pretty good. But the other one... Yeah. It's pretty ridiculous. The chocolate one's 10 bucks. For oh, wait, wait. It can be ordered on any one. There's a special campaign. Ten lucky people who post a video of themselves eating it. Okay, they'll can give, win one hundred eighty-four dollars. Uh, you can okay. You can live two hundred yeah one hundred eighty twenty thousand yen. Oh, it costs no no extra money right there. Zero yen. Oh, just you can get that for free. On I your think pizza? so. Oh well, you can just tell them. Yeah, you can you can get yeah, any no pizza. extra charge. Oh. <laughs> you can get any pizza. <laughs> and tell them to like I want to do the Halloween yeah. roulette, and they'll just Spike cut it. Pizza, and they'll just man. cut it up in little slices and, and put a little bit of oil on one of them. I think that's normal slice size. Oh, is it? Because it is pizza. Or right, in Japan, you know? Oh, okay. They, you remember the pizza? Like pizza was expensive. Pizza's expensive there. Yeah. All right, that's, that's the end of the right. Asia section. <laughs> that's it. We ended that's, up on pizza. Uh, Asia's out of here. Well, yeah. not really. I think we're like going back four, to Asia. We have like four out of All 15 right. of these are pizza. All right, yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right, now it's time for the... <laughs> I, I just found this. And we'll see if it'll play. All right. I don't... I couldn't find a source for where this came from. But this is either already in a casino or they're putting it in one. They're going to put it in one soon. But it looks like it's making fried rice. Yeah. But this is nuts. I mean, it's not It's not. It's not, doing, it's not doing a whole difficult. lot. No. We've seen other ones. We haven't talked about them, but like... Kids at MIT and other people yeah. are making those were way more complicated than yeah. this. These are just but like, the, what they added to this is a little conveyor belt. But see the conveyor belt, it still dumps like half it's only got like, <laughs> yeah, it's only got that? five slots there. So somebody's still managing this whole operation. Or, oh, it's gonna, yeah, they're over there. Be they're a, in the back of the picture. Yeah, this the video. Is be a pretty good game concept. Like you're gonna keep them from falling on the floor. Like it's just gonna be a big so, mess. You're like a, you're the supervisor of oh the machine. Oh my god! <laughs> I, gotta take, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom and like it's like Lucy making the chocolates. That's what it looks like. All right, onwards. This is good. Yeah. This is good. So if you thought that Panera's stuff was quote fresh because of their advertising, That's a, I want one of those. No, yeah, I know. I do too. <laughs> Uh, just FYI, <laughs> it's not fresh, <laughs> like they say. So, but the, the, the big thing is that she got fired for, for posting this video, showing, mm. she, exposing behind the curtain, the Wizard of Oz, showing how, now, I, I didn't, you know, I don't expect them to be able to cook pasta within five seconds of me ordering. And then yeah. have a sauce, I mean, they could have the sausage ready and stuff, but. It's not going to be... You can't do that. No. No, yeah. I'm not... I mean, that's not... That, we expect, it's not weird to me because no, I cook. I mean, we I, expected we cook this. Lot, There's no way that somebody's back there making pasta. It, it, it looks like the back of it is a nicer McDonald's. That's what it looks like. Yeah. It, but there's nothing wrong with that. It's made food... It's food that was made well somewhere else. It's nicer stuff. And it was if just you, frozen. There's nothing yeah, wrong with that, if in you, my opinion. If but. you wanted... If you wanted nice pasta, you don't... 
it's going to cost you twice as much as Panera. Yeah. You know? Even though pasta's is cheap, it will. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Because somebody's going to I didn't actually it. open this. I didn't know that's what it was titled. Oh, my God. We can't. I don't know if we can play this. <laughs> you didn't put that in the title. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, you can put it on your nut. It's called Blackfoot Selling You Stuff, TV commercials from the 70s. That sounds ridiculous. I got, I got done a whole of soul, soul funk music, and I got this video. It's not particularly funny. I just thought I, it was this, weird. What are you talking about? This is funny. This is, it is weird. I just, I just think... It, this whole commercial, <laughs> yeah, well, it's a show team theme, but I, like, they don't do this anymore, talking about how it's so clean. No, so I they just, don't. I thought this this is what they had to do at this point this in time. This was in the 70s they had to do this. Mm, they had to talk about That's how clean the restaurants were so people would go there. Wow. I didn't know they had that. And then they, I didn't know people had that thought of it back then. Yeah. Also, they used to wear hats like a, a stadium ship, apparently. Oh, yeah, from the movie. Remember, they used to be actually like a real... Oh, you're right. They you're were right. like a real diner or whatever, burger place. That's pretty awesome, actually. So, yeah, it's not particularly funny, but I just thought it was really interesting how different fast food was compared to now where nobody even cares if it's clean or not because uh, it's all yeah. in the factory. But, but it, I guess it's levels of fast food. Chipotle, people don't consider that fast food, but it is fast food, and it's owned a lot of it. A part, a lot of part of it is owned by McDonald's, actually. Well, they sold it. At one oh, they point. sold their they point. Sold okay, it, yeah. Well, before they, they had, remember, they had a problem with cleanliness too. Yeah. I think oh they, no, they did. They had a problem. I think they still people, do. people still, they still have to advertise like this today. Some mm. of the fast food, they don't, they don't really care. <laughs> but yeah, McDonald's, like. It was ni- It was nicer back then, right? Apparently, because people used to go there and eat with their family. Oh yeah, I know. Like I mean, even in the eighties, it was it was one hundred percent beef that they cooked like to order. To and order, stuff. it was it was a line. It was like a line restaurant. I they re- only had a few items. I remember reading about like and seeing people, kids from the eighties. You're older than me. You might have done it. I don't know. What they would, they, their family would go to like McDonald's and sit down and they would eat and like no, have a meal. We've never done that. We haven't done that. That's what I'm saying. People yeah, used no, to do yeah, that. Yeah, no, I was saying. They would, I thought you were like, no, I, we, you did this. No, didn't know no, we did didn't because we didn't have a McDonald's. Oh, it's like true. That. But people would go do that, and oh, then they would yeah. get the kids would play in the playset or whatever. Oh no, you're okay. When I was younger, we used to play in the playset. We did, but like yeah. that's what I'm saying is they used people used to go to McDonald's and like actually <laughs> eat it because it was decent. Yeah, and it was yeah. that's why they made these clean ads. And this is yeah. too long for the lighting round, right. but it was interesting. That's pretty crazy. I like that. Are you like what are you t- I'm sweaty, man? <laughs> this is co- more cushion, and I'm fine. I sweat. I'm sweating. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta put your hand in your buns. <laughs> Just. <laughs> He's gonna be invisible halfway through here, but all right. If I do it that way, that's <laughs> worse. That's the end of the lighting round. I here, hope fixed that it. everybody thought that that was as in, those are the weirdest, interesting, most interesting things from around the internet that we could find. Mm. And uh, <laughs> this is episode number five of Nom News, our spooktacular edition. I hope that everybody enjoyed it. I know that. We thought this was a cool idea, man. It's freaking hot. This is a hot idea. It was. It's our safety blanket. Oh yeah, we gotta yeah, feel comfortable yeah, and yeah. sweating to death when oh, we record yeah. these. Yeah, it's uh, something now. But uh, go try all this candy. You know, boogers. We got the, boogers. This was probably the worst one because this this yeah. doesn't taste like anything. The, that is probably the best these, one. That blueberry is freaking good. We got uh, these were fun. Although, we had to go eat something in the middle of the show. Yeah, they got stuck in my teeth. It was right. gross. And then uh, those. These are good. Even you, the gross, the, the, the gross flavor isn't as gross as what the gross flavors were in the bean boozle. I, I agree. That was gross. I didn't have that one, but the, yeah, that one's weird. Uh, go check them out. I hope everybody has a really good Halloween. And uh, I don't know. We'll see you soon. See you. Next time. See you next time. Yeah. Catch you next time. With the food dudes, we're the food dudes. I'm the lollipop dude. I'm the hamburger dude. He's the hamburger dude. He's Woo! banging the mic, and I'm gonna have to cut that out because it's gonna be all. Your mic is now in the frame. Oh dang, you're right. I didn't even look and see if that was. It. Oh hi, I didn't see you there. Check out this other episode. We got some cool stuff on there. You might be asking yourself, why is he wearing a hamburger? I don't know. I just felt like it today. Hamburger Days, coming up next.